In this video, we'll discuss how to install the DX4010V2 for use with RPS and a 9000 series control panel. The DX4010V2 is an interface module that allows local RPS communications between a computer and a panel's data bus. It has many other uses as well, so please consult your installation guide for complete instructions. Before we continue, Note that the 9000 series control panel must have firmware version 6.0 or later to complete these steps. In our example, we'll be connecting the interface module to a D9412 GV4. Wire the DX4010 V2 to the panel's SDI bus. There are two available SDI connections on the GV4 control panels. Both connections provide the exact same data and power transmission, so you're free to select whichever one works best for your installation. Do not plug the DX4010 V2 into the SDI2 bus. On the DX4010 V2, there are also two available SDI connections. Again, you can use either one. For this video, we'll wire a Quick Connect cable directly into the DX4010 V2's TS1 terminal block. Then we'll plug the Quick Connect connector to the SDI port on the control panel. Next, configure the DIP switches to properly address the interface module. Because we are connecting to a 9000 series panel, we will set the DIP switches for address 88. Finally, we will need to create the hardware connection between the DX4010V2 and your RPS host computer. Again, there are a couple of ways to do this. You can either use a null modem serial cable, or you can use the supplied USB cable. Since many computers no longer come with a serial input, we'll use the USB connection for our video. OK, that completes the hardware configuration. If you use the USB connection as we did in this video, you'll need to perform an extra step. This is because the USB connection emulates a serial connection and will be assigned to a virtual serial port by your computer. We'll need to know which virtual port your computer has selected for the RPS connection. Let's look at how to find that information on a Windows 7 computer. Click on the Start button. Right click on Computer and select Manage. Click on Device Manager. Expand the Ports section and find the device labeled Silicon Labs CP210X USB to UART Bridge. Make a note of the COM number to the right, then close all of those windows. Next, launch and log into RPS. The default login is admin and 1111. Once you are in RPS, double click on the panel you would like to connect to to open it. Then, click on the Connect button. In the Connect via drop down box, select Enhanced Direct for your DX4010 V2 connection. If the panel's passcode is different from what RPS has saved, re-enter the passcode. The default passcode is 999999. Next, select the COM port you will be connecting through. You'll remember our example USB connection was assigned to COM5. If you will be using an actual serial connection on your computer, then you will select the number of the COM port you connected to. Leave the baud rate alone at its default setting, then click Connect. When you connect, RPS will compare its data with the data in the panel. If they are different, you will be prompted with this window. 
Select the option that best suits your needs and click OK. If you received a copy, then the Update Selection window will open. Select the appropriate option for the service you are providing. If you were not prompted with those windows, that simply means that the data in the panel matched the data in RPS. While connected to the panel, you can continue to do things such as make changes to its programming, check diagnostics, or view history. Remember, you can always press the F1 key on your keyboard for online help. When you are ready to disconnect from the panel, click on the Disconnect button. Finally, press OK to disconnect. That concludes our DX4010 V2 9000 series connection video. Thank you for watching. Bosch. Invented for life.